hello everybody Chris here and in this video today I wanted to take a look at Ubuntu Studio and help figure out for myself and you guys as well what is Ubuntu Studio and how does it differ from regular Ubuntu so I was browsing uh, what's it called DistroWatch the other day and I saw Ubuntu Studio 17.04 got released and I was like well Ubuntu has a new version but now all of a sudden they have this studio tag behind it and actually, the studio uh, variant of Ubuntu has been there for a while. Um, basically, it built up as an extra set of additions to the base Ubuntu. But what is the focus of all of this? Well, um, first off, I'll mention it is based on the XFCE desktop out of the box. That's the only version I saw them having on the download site. But the main focus of Ubuntu Studio is about supplying you uh, when you install Ubuntu Studio with all of these different tools for audio production, graphic design, and video production, which is extremely cool to me um, because that means oh, Caden Live, out of the box, OpenShot, out of the box, um, Blender, which I even mess around in sometimes, out of the box, and yeah, not a professional modeler really, but uh, I do like to use these kind of tools, so they're ones that would often eventually end up on my computer as well. Um, and then you have other tools for graphic design, uh, Critter down here, and, uh, well, GIMP, of course. I think GIMP's usually included in most versions of uh, Linux these days because GIMP is freaking awesome. Um, but maybe the most profound is going to be audio production. So you have uh, a bunch of instruments installed, effects, uh, MIDI instruments as well. Um, and then the tool for actually editing... Uh, music on your computer, LMMS. I've uh, played around in it a little bit before. Um, it's kind of comparable to like FL Studio if you were using Windows or that kind of thing. Um, Audacity as well, very important tool if you're doing uh, video production or audio production, being able to edit some of your soundtracks, remove some of the background noise, change the pitch, blah, blah, blah. Uh, so yeah, that's really what it comes down to. So Ubuntu Studio is really a variant of Ubuntu that's for creatives. Um, now, I, I don't think that necessarily goes all the way to uh, like web designers, but uh, graphic designers, video production, audio production, those are the three main categories there. So for someone like me who's making videos all the time, I do think that uh, Ubuntu Studio would be a cool version for me to use uh, quite frequently. Um, simply because it's going to have a lot of those tools out of the box. And I do also presume that in many cases they include uh, any kind of codecs and that sort of thing that you would need in order to run all the different types of video files. Um, yeah, and I mean, that's kind of pretty much it there. Uh, beyond that, you got a pretty clean interface. It's not... It, um, it's not running the Unity, I think that's what they call it, the Unity desktop on Ubuntu that I'm usually pretty used to, so I was a little bit confused on that. Uh, I bet that you can go ahead and uh, grab that as an extra, though. I mean, usually it's not that complicated to install other desktops like GNOME uh, to your computer. So if you're looking for Ubuntu, but you specifically are kind of in that creative realm where you're messing around with audio, graphics, or video production a lot, and then Ubuntu Studio might be the version of Ubuntu that you actually want to go ahead and go with. And uh, yeah, obviously, if you didn't already realize, version 17 of Ubuntu is out now. So uh, yeah, that's pretty cool. And I'm glad I took a look at this um, so, because, once again, making lots of videos. But hopefully this has given you guys a little bit of information on what Ubuntu Studio is. And uh, you can consider it as your next distribution for Linux. So uh, without further ado, I've been Chris, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in my future video content.